Welcome to the Sonoma Raceway, y'all. We're on the 16th NASCAR Cup Series schedule for the year for the NASCAR Cup Series. And this week, we are in Sears Point, California at the Sonoma Raceway. Now, the Sonoma Raceway was built in 1968. It's a 12-turn, 2.5-mile track, and it's held multiple names over the years. Most famous, the Sears Point Raceway from 1993 to 2001. Now, Sonoma uses not only just NASCAR. They have multiple divisions that race on this track, such as IndyCar, NHRA, the Motorcycle Series. But this weekend, the NASCAR Cup Series and the NASCAR Xfinity Series will be running their respected events. The NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series will not return to action until the end of the month in Nashville, so they have a good little break. Now, on Saturday, the NASCAR Xfinity Series will run the Zip Buy Now Pay Later 250. The drivers should be well adjusted as they were in Portland last week at the Portland International Raceway, won by SVG, who I picked. And he was an amazing finish. But uh, now, Sunday, the NASCAR Cup Series will run the Toyota Save Mart 350. And this will be the second road course of the year for the NASCAR Cup Series. Uh, William Byron won the Coda race, but this track is a little different, but at least they're getting back on the road course. So, now, here is the paint schemes for the NASCAR Cup Series and the NASCAR Xfinity Series. And when we return, um, I'll give you who I don't like. I know normally I ask you, who do you like in the paint schemes? But I want you to know, tell me what paint scheme just you're not happy with whatsoever. Just to change things up, because I've noticed over the couple weeks, people not really commenting much on their favorite paint schemes and if that doesn't work we'll probably just not talk about uh, the favorite paint schemes anymore but we'll see how it goes but make sure you leave in the comment below who your favorite no who is your least favorite paint scheme for the week and you don't have to give me a bunch of them you can just give me one whatever you like to do we always look to see in the comments now uh, also when we come back i'll discuss last week's events at gateway and uh pretty good weekend there so we'll see who wins Okay, so here we go. Here's the NASCAR Cup Series and the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Let's check them out.
I hope you enjoyed those paint schemes. Now, did you see one that you didn't like? Uh, mine were pretty easy, but I have a feeling for some of you, I already know who you're going to say you don't like. Um, but for me, though, uh, it was pretty easy, but it was also tough. Uh, it was harder, I think, to pick uh, ones I didn't like. But here it goes. Now, don't judge me. For the Xfinity series, nothing against her. But the 15 Haley Deegan Viva Tequila Seltzer Ford. I don't know. Just don't like it. Uh, for the NASCAR Cup Series, this one was a hard one. I, I couldn't really find anyone that I didn't like. But the one I really just was like, yeah, this is okay, I guess. But not really. Uh, the 51 Justin Haley Jacob Construction Ford. So those are the two I didn't like for the year this week. I don't know. Something different than picking the ones we do like. So... Okay, so now here's a little recap of the races from St. Louis last week at the Gateway. Uh, I was two for three picking a winner, uh, picking uh, Al Geyer, or no, Corey Heim to win the truck race and then SVG to win the Xfinity race. But uh, the truck race and Xfinity race were run at the same time, so I really didn't get to watch any of the truck race. I kind of kept up with the following as we were streaming, but uh, I picked Corey Heim and he won. Uh, can't really tell you much about it. Just know that uh, he was in the lead, then he wasn't in the lead, but he came back and won the race. Now, the Xfinity race was dominated by Justin Allgaier, uh, but as usual, he folded at the end and was passed by SVG for the win. SVG celebration, man, was amazing. That burnout he did through the whole entire track, you know they were on the radio going, hey, can't be doing that. But uh, good for SVG. Uh, for doing that as he gets in the playoffs for the Xfinity Series. But, but, but talking about both of those races on at the same time, NASCAR, you screwed up. I know you're worried about people in the stands, but you also had fans that wanting to watch it across the country. And showing two of the races at the same time just doesn't cut it. So make sure you don't do that again. All right, now the NASCAR Cup Series race was really good as well. We had a good stream there. But Christopher Bell was the one who was supposed to win this race. Uh, it seemed like Bell passed everyone out there at least twice. Uh, he won both stages, but no in the end, Bill's way. car, uh, the engine just was done. Uh, it was pretty much toast. But he finished seventh place thanks to Martin Truex Jr. that helped him along the way. And there was closing laps. You saw him like pushing him as he was going into the down the back stretch and all that. But kept him in the top ten and kept him going. But uh, then it seemed it was Ryan Blaney's race to lose. Ryan Blaney. Down to the last lap, taking the white flag, and what happened? But first, to get back with that, the last pit stop, Blaney and Cindric both came into the pits at the same time, but Blaney got out way ahead of Cindric, and was there an issue in the pits or Blaney's car where maybe they didn't get enough fuel? We'll never know. We really never heard. But uh, Blaney runs out of gas on the last lap. Austin Cindric takes the lead, and he wins the race. This is the second career cup win for Cindric, and it seems he always wins on at Blaney's demise, the 500 a couple years ago, and now here at Gateway. So, so let's get to the race predictions. Now the zip by now pay later 79 laps, 157.21 miles. If you want to get technical, SVG coming off a win last week, and on the road course, but could Algaier make a statement? Dominated both of the races, both stages, just couldn't pay it off. Cole Custer, Chandler Smith, Riley Herbst, and Sam Mayer were all in the running. Could those guys do something here? Uh, we'll see what happens. Also, Boris said, longtime road course racer, he's going to be in that 17 Hendrick Motorsports Chevy. So we'll see what he can do. Now, could SVG win another back to back? Could happen. But I'm going to go Al Geyer. I think he's going to make a statement this week. You know, a lot of people were saying, oh, he just couldn't get it done again. Uh, it's not like he hasn't won this year, but I think Justin Allgaier wins here and takes some revenge. Now, Sunday for the Toyota Save Mart 350, 110 laps, and that's 2.1835 miles. Uh, Cam Waters is going to be making his debut in that 60 RFK Ford. Will Brown's going to be driving the 33 Chevy for RCR. The Dinger is in there in the 16. Kaz Grala is back to save Cody Ware from wrecking anybody else. 
on the track. Cody Ware out of the car this week. But this should be an interesting race. Now, last year, Martin Truex Jr. won the 2023 race winner. And then Billy B won Coda this year. But this is a toss-up. I don't know who to pick. But I'm going to go. Are you ready for this one? I'm going the Dinger. AJ Allmendinger does double duty, does the Xfinity race. But he, he won't win the Xfinity race. I just don't think he will. But maybe he will. I don't know. This is a weird one. He might be the one I take in the third stage in the third Xfinity race. But uh, it's a tough task, but I think he can do it. I think the Dinger wins here. The Toyota Save Mart 350. All right, so here is our streaming schedule. Uh, Friday afternoon, the NASCAR Cup Series is going to have practice. We're going to try our best to bring that to you at the Toyota Save Mart 350 practice. No qualifying, just practice. And then Saturday, the Cup Series will qualify so weird that they're doing it back different times. But the Cup Series will qualify, and we'll see who gets the pole for the Sunday race. We'll have Group A, Group B, and uh, I think that's how we'll do it. I'm not really sure. We'll find out how that is coming up very soon. Now, the Xfinity Series will run the Zip Buy Now Pay Later 250 on Saturday right after Cup Series practice, and we'll bring that to you as well, flag-to-flag coverage. Now, on Sunday, we will have flag-to-flag coverage of the Toyota Save Mart 350 as well. So make sure you are hitting that like button for us and subscribing to the channel on all our streams this, this week, weekend. We can't wait to bring you. This is the last broadcast for Fox as well. Next week, we go to NBC's coverage of the races. So that should be interesting too. So if you are new and you're watching this video, please hit the like button for us and subscribe to the channel. We would love for you to hang out with us in our NASCAR community. We have a great time with all our folks here on the channel. So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and we will see you this weekend in the races, in the streams, in the chats, and you guys already set. You know know the paint schemes for this week. You know who's driving what. You know when the races are, and all you got to do now is come hang out with us. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Give it a like, give it a subscribe, and we will see you in the streams. Now let's go!